All right, guys, how's it going? Someone said to me today, why do you say, all right, guys, how's it going? Well, how's it going means, how are you doing? See this morning's briefing for more details. Um, so, um, I've seen some things on social media today saying that you know, Liverpool are going to lose out uh, to Barcelona uh, you know, with their attempts to, you know, to land Ruben Amarim. Um, there is at least one high-profile uh, journalist in Portugal saying that won't be the case. Um, but I've seen comments today on, you know, some of these fan accounts saying um, it's all over the, you know, the Spanish newspapers today that uh, that Barcelona are going for Amarim. Yeah. Now I know what you think. You think, what are you following them accounts for then? Don't let don't. But I monitor everything, and sometimes people retweet or they'll send me a link and say, "We've seen this done. It's all over the newspapers in Spain today. Today, this day, uh, the uh, Barcelona, uh, you know, are going for Amarim. So what I've done is I went out and bought the newspapers for us today. Yeah, the main papers. Yeah. So I have gone through all of them. I'm going to save you all the hassle. <laughs> Of having to go through it all with you but like like this one for example you've, you've heard of this before i know you can see them online and stuff but the print versions can be very different you open it straight away to real madrid look real madrid real madrid real madrid atletico madrid right and then at some point you get to barcelona right and i have been through all of it i've just been to the cafe for my lunch uh, and for a coffee and um, there's nothing in there to suggest that Barcelona are all over Ruben Amarin. So then we go to this one, which, guess what? Very dominated, no surprises there, uh, by Barcelona. All right, page after page after page. Fucking Barcelona, Barcelona. But look at this. Huh? Do you think it's a bit biased, this one? Remember that? Right. It goes, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, and there was a little bit, where was the... We're on page 13, we're still on Barcelona. 15. Here we go, on to general football, right? Finally, you'll have heard of this one. It's spelling out a message there that we all agree with. Well, I certainly do, that is for sure. And you should too. That obviously starts off with Real Madrid, uh, if you know anything about Spanish publications. Um, and, and then we've got the dedicated Barcelona pages again. And one of them, I don't know which one it was. Anyway, anyway it was one of them which was, um, it had a little bit to do with De Zerbe, but it didn't have anything to do with Ruben Amarin. Uh, and Liverpool Football Club. Uh, I, you know, I don't know which one it was. I think it might have been... I don't know. Anyway, there's no point going through all these. I've done it all to death, trust me. And um, there's nothing in here uh, at all suggesting that Barcelona uh, are, are leaving some kind of race to get Ruben Amarin. Um, but yeah, I would like to have shown you the deserved bit where I can't remember where it is, but it was... Not really relevant anyway. <sighs> Done this once. Anyway, so if you see those claims today on social media, you can say it ain't true, mate, because Big Dunk has checked everything out for us. All right. So that's that. <clears throat> how are you doing? Oh, no, no, you're not supposed to say how you're doing. Uh, yeah, that's it. So um, suggestions that that is the case, that it's dominant in Spanish media uh, is not true. Uh, you know, the media here, just like anywhere else, the UK especially, you know, has a lot of speculation and rumours and uh, and fan accounts and things like that. Um, and as you know, I did a video earlier today with the um, to do with um, Ruben Amarim saying at last night's you know, following the match, post-match interview or whatever, when he was talking about uh, whether he'd be at Sporting, you know, after the cup final with, with his wheel C, the, the fan accounts especially just abbreviated and used and didn't include everything. Still the same kind of message, but, you know, different claims can be made on social media. 
especially. And I like to go back and trace everything to where it came from so that I can tell you whether to you know, pay attention to it or not. And it might seem that I'm only trying to find bits that are negative. You know, like, no, oh, that's it, guys, bullshit dismissed. That's it, guys, bullshit, bullshit dismissed. That's because the majority of the stuff that we are fed is bullshit, you know? So if you've been around these parts long enough, you'll know that when I find something that I think is credible and I think, hang on, guys, we should listen to this, I will tell you. But the problem is that there's so many ways today to monetize bullshit, uh, you know, even on Twitter now or X or whatever you call it, that, you know, you have these you know, people that are just, I mean, there are, I don't really want to mention, um, you know, websites by name, but I think that if you pay attention to me, you'll often hear me say, don't pay attention to that shite. And I think that those those websites deliberately mislead. I, I really do. I mean, the Liverpool Echo, for example, which I will name, is no different now in some ways, because if you look at the clickbaity stuff, sensational headlines all the time, that is purely to reel you in. However, I guess then that the article is reasonably newsworthy, maybe, but there are certain... Um, websites now that focus on transfer news that there is no way in a million years that they can believe anything that they're saying but they don't care because they're commercial entities and then you've got the fans maybe you've got a you know a fan that's you know uh, maybe he's got a youtube channel right i've got a youtube channel right but i'm not going to make videos you know purely to to generate clicks or views or interest because the people that watch my videos i feel like my friends so why would i mislead them do you know what I mean? And I don't. I feel I don't need to do that because if people support me, and you know, and they think I don't, so I get my drink or or whatever, uh, you know, um, people will become a channel member or they'll join the members website or they'll get a super thanks, uh, whatever it's called. Do you know what I mean? It's, and, and I'd rather do things that way, mate, uh, than you know, strive to um, just you know get as many fucking views or hits or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So you just got to be careful. Because people make a living out of that shit now, guys. And you can't blame them as well, can you? If you've got some like some fan that sat in his fucking house at home, bored off his fucking tits, you know, and he, and he can make a few quid, he's thinking, well, I can do this. But for it, you know, I don't know. Maybe I would do it if I was in a different position. I don't know. But I don't feel I need to do that. But what I do feel I need to do is keep you uh, informed as to what you should and shouldn't believe. That's kind of the direction that my channel and my website's gone in now after all these years, because I could write numerous news articles and I'm not really sure that there's community behind news articles, if that makes sense, because people tend to read a news article and then go away, right? Whereas with this and with the members website, it's constant interaction with fellow fellow fans. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what I'm often on about, really. I think what I'm trying to say to you is if you see anything online today saying it's all over the... Uh, the Spanish media today that Liverpool uh, could lose out to Barcelona with Amarin, which could happen, right? Maybe that might happen, right? I don't think it will, but maybe maybe it could. But it's not. That's not true. If someone makes that statement today, so if you see that, you've got to say to you, why are they fucking saying that? If you can be asked to interact with them, just say, well, what you, where would you get that from? Do you know what I mean? But me personally, I just say, oh, fuck off. So anyway, guys, now there. Now to worry about, let's crack on. If you appreciate the video, please thumbs up and please drop me a comment. All right.